What comes to your mind when you think of water? Do you think about beautiful beaches, warm summer lakes, fly fishing on crisp, clear rivers, sailing on the bay, or diving into a swimming pool? Or do you simply think about a cool, clean glass of fresh water? Water is the most important element in our lives, but not necessarily for the reasons that we, as middle class Americans, can visualize. People dying when it's time to lend a hand to life. Greatest gift of all. Water is the world's most valuable resource. We take for granted every time we turn on the faucet and take a drink or stand in a warm shower. Our clean water supplies are vanishing more rapidly than any other natural resource. It is believed that by the year 2025, water will be more valuable than oil. God's great big family and the truth, you know the love is all we need. The World Bank reports that 80 countries now have water shortages that threaten health and economies while 40% of the world, more than 2 billion people, have no access to clean water or sanitation. Politically speaking, more than a dozen nations receive most of their water from rivers that cross borders of neighboring countries viewed as hostile. In the Middle East, water is a high political priority. Israel and Syria have been in contentious negotiations for years. Iraq, Syria, and Turkey have exchanged verbal threats over the use of shared rivers. In India, experts predict that groundwater supplies will be gone within the next 10 years. In the Philippines, 40 principal rivers are currently biologically dead, with most of the other rivers too polluted for domestic use. China uses 30 times more water than the rain can replace. Closer to home, seven states, including California, are negotiating the management of the limited supply of water from the Colorado River. The San Joaquin-Sacramento Delta, 778 miles of fresh water and one of the most productive agricultural areas in the world, is so polluted from pesticides and fertilizers that the salmon and trout are on the verge of extinction. It is almost guaranteed that once water supplies become scarcer, conflict will break out across the globe. Population is the major cause of global water shortages. Global population has tripled during the 20th century. Worldwide demand for water is doubling every 21 years. Water supply cannot remotely keep pace with the demand. Since 1990, there's been a six-fold increase in water use for only a two-fold increase in population size. Water consumption has taken off in the last century due to cultural advances and rising standards of living, such as dishwashers, washing machines, showers, toilets, running faucets, and advanced irrigation. About 95% of the world's population still dumps raw sewage into their waters. Irrigation is the main cause of wasted water with no controls in effect. 66% and as much as 90% of the world's fresh water is used for agriculture.
By the year 2050, it is believed that 4 billion people, over half of the world's population, will be facing severe water shortages. In the southwestern states of the U.S., a water crisis is expected by 2025. Most of the people facing water shortages are in developing countries where it is not uncommon for women and children to walk for miles to find water, usually from polluted sources. More people in the world own cell phones than have access to toilets. Industrial toxins and raw sewage dumping have destroyed over half the world's rivers and are threatening the oceans. More than half of the Earth's groundwater is either used up or contaminated. The United States, formerly the leader in desalinization of the ocean, has quit the process due to its inaffordability. What if it doesn't fit? Yeah, I was just thinking, I wonder like how. For the Americas Cup, they have to disassemble all the boats. For the what? 